There was a crisis. Um, one of the government officials even talked about how the way to make change happen uh, was to create a crisis, and they did. Um, so there was a crisis in education, and all, every conversation about education was kind of a polarized debate. And we decided, a small group of parents in one school initially, um, that it was important that there be a, some kind of voice in the middle, some kind of objective ish uh, voice uh, to talk about is issues in education and to, to bring a different perspective to the table. We had this, this belief, a belief in public education. We had a belief that it could change children's lives um, and it could overcome intergenerational cycles of poverty. It could create a sense of social cohesion. It could strengthen our, our, our culture because it's really part of who we are in Canada, about 95% of uh, children go to public schools. We remember and recognize and, and talk about the fact that the job of public education was to build the next generation of society. We wanted to build the public conversation that we had to get money in order to do this. We applied for funding to foundations and we knew we wanted to operate independently of the system. The research for us was important because we knew we had to have evidence that it wasn't enough to just go around having a big opinion about what should happen, um, that we had to have evidence to back it up. Uh, we wanted a public conversation, so we made friends right away with the media. We understood how important it was to tell stories um, and to get the media on board as, uh, you know, that we, would, we were credible, that we weren't going to make anything up, um, and that they could come to us for information. So uh, we do a lot of work that way. We, have a lot, we do a lot of work with, uh, in social media also, in online. We have online dialogues. We make policy recommendations coming out of our reports. Uh, we sit at some government policy tables um, and we work sometimes with policy makers so when we're bringing out a report we will go tell the government this is our report, this is what it says, this is what we think you should be doing. And we have to start um, I think by, by recognizing and respecting and, and taking seriously how complex the job is of being a parent, just that. So for us right now, one of our most important messages that we're trying to get to everybody in the world and everybody who works in the education system in Canada is that part of their job is to let parents know at home that there are four really important things they should be doing. Um, and we got it down to four because we thought it was important that it be easy enough to communicate to parents. And again, this goes to uh, trying to get away from this idea that there's a kind of hierarchy of, of parent involvement. There's important kinds and unimportant kinds. And really, in terms of student outcomes, it, what parents do at home matters more than anything, much more than their involvement in schools. First one was that they have high expectations of their children. And this isn't, you know, fighting about marks. This is just letting your children know that you, you know, you believe in their potential, that you assume that they're going to work hard. The second one was talking to your kids about school. Again, these sound easy. Um, our research director, who has a PhD and has a master's degree in law, and, you know, it's very knowledgeable. At the, initially, we were writing a tip sheet to say, and we were going to say it's as easy as one, two, three, four. Um, but then one morning she came in in tears and went, it's not easy. We can't say it's easy. More important than homework, more important than helping with homework at all, more in hope, important than limiting TV time, more important than saying they couldn't go out on a school night was just uh, home discussion, they called it. So conversations about school. So building the work habits, though, is not about doing their work for, for them. Again, it's not about their homework. It's actually about letting your kids struggle. Um, so it's about letting them learn to be persistent, to figure out how to go and get help, to um, be able to deal with difficulty and handle distraction and, and negotiate their own crises. So again, it's not about doing the work for them and you don't have to be able to do their math or know the history or read the textbook. That's their job. Your job is to, is to support them and get them to learn that this is part of what they have to do. They have to grow up and they have to take responsibility themselves. And the last one I think everybody knows, but not everybody does still, which is reading with your children. Building 
school sense, so then the people who work in schools, the teachers, the administrators, the school system sense, that their part of their role has to be communicating with parents, not asking parents to do more, but, but communicating with parents. That's, that's the first uh, job to do. We're making sure our policies do the best they can for all the children in the system, not just the children of the parents with the loud voices. We measure how we're doing on the test scores and we measure graduation rates, but we don't talk very much about what kind of what kind of graduates are they? What kind of capacities do they have? And those kinds of conversations um, are ones that, that we, are, we are finding engage more people. Supporting parents, uh, providing them with the tools that they need, um, building that big kind of tent, uh, which then allows us to, to talk about these, these bigger issues. So it's partly reminding everybody there are lots of problems in the system, yes, uh, but public education is incredibly important and it has a potential to, to as I said, to change kids' lives. So it's, it's again, I, I've already said this, it's, it's, it's recognizing how serious the job of being a parent is um, and then providing the space for parents who want to, uh, to be advocates, to be involved in the system in, in, at, at, in different, at different levels, but not assuming that they're all going to agree on one thing or another.